So when you started going to nail school, how did your mom feel about that? Since she was so against, or yeah, so against, uh, or was she just like, whatever? I don't think that she was necessarily against it. Okay. I think that she was, her thing was always she wanted me to go to college. My mom is a first generation college graduate. She has a master's degree. So that's like, dope. and she is an educator. So that's like her thing. But I, she's always fostered, you know, my different interests. But I also, she she prepared me. She was like, you know, people people don't spend their bill money getting their nails done. Like, I don't think she knew that I would take it this far or that right. it would go this far. And I remember telling her when I was in college, I was like, Mom, like, these girls are calling their parents and telling them, oh, I need money for food. And then they're paying me to do their <laughs> for nails. nails <laughs> yeah. Dave, that's so, you crazy. know, it was just, it was. It was crazy because I, I will never say that my parents didn't believe in me. Yeah. But, you know, I, I think they heard nails and they're like, nails, like, is that a career? You right, know, like, right, right, right. I was like, what are, what are you going to school for? What are you right. going to do? So. They're also from like a different era, too. Yeah. I think now in our era is kind of more oriented. Yeah. Like everybody's wanting is. to start their own business it or is. do something creative or just whatever they want to do. It is. And, you know, to, to be honest with you, I don't like that. <laughs> why talk about it why um i don't encourage entrepreneurship it's really hard and it takes a lot of sacrifice it ain't for everybody yeah it's not for everybody and i had that conversation with a really good friend of mine today i was like don't feel bad if you enjoy being an employee of somebody right. like you have a stable and steady income you know where your next check is coming from there's so much instability this with being an, yeah for being an entrepreneur and you know a lot of times people are looking for the motivation to do things. And right. when it comes down to business ownership, like sometimes you are literally just not motivated, right. but you still have to do it. I remember summer of 2020, I was having like a really just rough time with life. Damn. And, um, and I still had to show up. I had to pay my employees. I had to take care of my clients. I had to run my business. Like I could not just succumb to how I was feeling. And I think, right you know, that's the part that people leave out. Like you have to keep doing it. So, and that's not, and it's not fun. I'm not going to lie and say like, oh, it's fun. Like once you get to the successful part of it. Y'all complain about a nine to five. Yeah, like Jeez. at least you can clock out. You can, you can leave the job where the job right. is. Like, you know, I, I, like I said earlier to you, I only work Thursday through Sunday and people think that that means Monday through Wednesday, I'm not doing anything. Right. I mean, it's like I'm in the bed answering like a hundred emails and like trying to catch up on sleep that I wasn't getting during my working days or planning for other things that I do outside of my salon because mm. I'm an, I'm also a nail educator. Mm. And so I don't just take clients or, you know, so it's just, it's a lot. So look, yeah, this is what we're going to do. Tell me. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Okay. And we're going to come back and dive a little deeper into like what a normal day looks like for you. Okay. Okay. That'd be fun. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. <laughs> ah! We are back, back from commercial break. 